What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mount Mograph and Summit 49. My name's Matt, as always, and in today's video, we got Summit 49, the five minute accent explosions. These are those little accents you see on absolutely everything, and they look so fancy, but truth be told, they take mere minutes to make, and it makes your work look a little bit more polished and a little bit more intricate. So we got bonuses and bonuses. If we go on into After Effects here, I'm gonna create a new comp position and just real quick we're going to draw a circle or really whatever shape you want if we have time I'll show you too uh, so I'm gonna go and create a circle next up is with the circle selected do shift command N to create a new mask on your layer and then just go into your mask path options this little button here click it and reset it to an ellipsis and say okay and there we go we got a nice mask on our circle that is the same shape as our circle so what's great about masks is let me make my uh, work area a little bit smaller. Uh, what masks can do is you have this option called mask expansion. And if we go back in time after setting a keyframe, we can just turn our expansion down. And just like that, we are basically scaling down our circle. So the reason we're not scaling down our circle, if we go ahead and set a keyframe and just real quick, I'll use my little motion scripts to ease it in. Uh, we have this little pop and we could do that with a scale, but what we want to do with the minimal effort is make this effect look fancy. So we're going to, with our mask path one um, selected, command N to duplicate the layer and set that mode to subtract. And then we'll go check out our keyframes. So we'll use our mask uh, that is subtracting. We're just going to grab those little keyframes and press Alt and right arrow a couple times. And now we'll have a nice staggered little pop effect just like that. So with that bottom one, if I zoom in here, you can see it's not quite all the way gone. So we're going to go to our mask expansion for a subtraction layer and set it to one. So it goes a little bit farther than it needs to, maybe even two if you're feeling crazy. So there we go. We got a nice little uh, mask path explosion accent whatever you want to call it and we could leave it just like that if we want or we could go ahead and duplicate this layer and just move it somewhere else and we'll work with this one for a second and let's go ahead and change our color so we don't get boring just to anything looks like I wound up with a purple so uh, let me go ahead and also turn up my resolution because you guys probably are looking at a potato over there so anyway, if I have this nice little uh, explosion happening, we could make this even fancier by once again duplicating our math, our, um, our mask paths, uh, putting them at the bottom here, uh, pressing U, seeing all of our keyframes, and just once again staggering these keyframes, and now we have just a super intricate effect in no time at all. We're amazing. So anyway, we can do that with circles, you can do that with any shape, and you can duplicate it, you can copy it, you can do anything you want. So right there, I have this nice effect, and what's nice is when you're using masks, you can actually scale down this effect so easily, and and uh, just place it wherever you want without having to worry about messing up your animation because we use those mask paths. So look at me mess up my animation with those <laughs> uh, things there. So anyway, now in no time, I have this wonderful little animation. It looks pretty cool. So we could once again, like I said, leave it right there or if let's see how this uh, five minutes is doing, we got some time. So, or we could uh, go ahead and make this even fancier and be lazy. So we'll use our classic effect of selecting all the layers, shift command C to pre-compose them, call them lazy one. And what we're gonna do is duplicate lazy one and hold alt and page up or page down and we're gonna move it forward three keyframes. So this seems like it makes no sense, but it'll make sense when we go into our effects and presets and grab a, a little effect called color rama and we're gonna go ahead and throw it onto our layer and just turn our blend with original up to maybe, uh, let's call it 65. We'll duplicate that layer with uh, the color rama and do alt page down two more times and we're gonna turn our blend with original uh, maybe down even a little bit more. So now in no time at all, we have this wonderful color array of explosions and all kinds of fanciness that took minutes. So anyway, this was Matt from Mount Mograph. If you like this video, let me know, leave a comment, like the video. Um, I should have some longer videos coming up shortly, uh, but these five minute little quick ones take no time and I hope you guys like them. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, peace out and have a good weekend.